Good morning, faculty, staff, friends, family, and my fellow graduates. I want to begin by thanking Dr. Melton, Mr. Ames, and everyone else who made today possible. There's truly no better graduation gift than getting to see everyone here together one last time. Four years ago, they decided to assign each class a different color ID. The seniors were given a light blue, the juniors were given a white, the sophomores a gray, and I guess they ran out of normal colors after that because instead of a navy or something discreet, we were given the brightest, loudest color of yellow. It was like a warning sign around our necks that alerted everyone that we were the new freshman class. After about a day of being in school, every sophomore, junior, senior, and even some teachers identified us as the yellow IDs. So for us to be one of the only classes graduating on our football field is actually quite fitting. We entered Chapin High School very distinctively, and now we are leaving the same way. High school is known as the four years that will stay with you forever because it helps to shape you into the person you will later become. It's a time when lifelong friendships are formed, bittersweet memories are made, and lessons are learned. This school will always hold a special place in my heart, as will the people in it. Our time in high school has taught us what it's like to experience failure and how that failure can lead to success. It has also taught us how late we can leave our houses in the morning and still somehow make it to first block on time. Thank you to our teachers who have invested their valuable time into ensuring we have a successful high school career. Despite our classroom time with you being cut short, the impact you have had on us is long lasting. The changes that you have helped us adapt to over the last few months have opened our eyes to a reality that has altered our way of life. The world has suffered from devastating events before. However, progression towards recovery doesn't just happen by accident or fate. It is the result of people just like us who make a commitment that whatever else they do with their lives and careers, they will contribute to the shared mission of propelling us all forward. In 2008, J.K. Rowling delivered the Harvard Commitment Address, defending the importance of perseverance and imagination. In her speech, she said, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. These words instill a sense of agency over our lives. Agency is the sense of control that you feel in your life, your capacity to influence your own thoughts and behavior, and have faith in your ability to handle a wide range of tasks and situations. These past few weeks, we were challenged with the task of finishing our schoolwork and responsibilities without the comfort of learning in classrooms. We had kitchen tables instead of desks and house pets or siblings instead of classmates. We no longer had the luxury of stopping by our teachers' rooms on the way to lunch or in between classes to ask for their help on a lesson. It was left up to us whether or not we would walk away from our past four years of high school with a diploma in hand. Being here today, you succeeded because of the aid and the love of others that are in your lives without a doubt. But you've succeeded mostly because you chose to do so. As we gather here today to celebrate the class of 2020, we reflect on all of the hard work and perseverance to honor a senior class who's overcome so much. As we prepare to go our separate ways and move forward in our lives, remember, there's no easy path without obstacles to achieve your dreams and goals but the greater the obstacle, the more glory in overcoming it. That being said, hats off to the class of 2020. Because if COVID-19 can't stop us, nothing can.